have a lady who keeps on failing, but that's the, did it stop her from doing her own kids gym? No. You know, I, I bet she has failed a lot, but she keeps on doing it again and again and again. That's the key there, repetition, repetition, because repetition is the mother of learning. It is the father of action and then the architect of results. If you want results in your life, you have, you have to keep repeating it. Same thing with Giselle. She just keeps on repeating it. All right, Giselle, let's go back to our discussion. Where were we at? Uh, you were like explaining how you started your kid's gym. Am I correct? Yeah, I was. Um, should, should I start over then? Just kind of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I was saying that um, a few years back, there was a uh, some changes in healthcare that was preventing kiddos from having that prolonged therapy that they needed. And so I decided to start a kid's gym that offered developmental play groups. Kid's and gym? So kid's gym. Oh, okay. Sensory gym. Oh, gosh, <laughs> then- I got to clean my ears, right? <laughs> kid's gym. There's like, oh, kid's gym. Oh, I think it's a good idea. Let's have kids cook. I think it's a good thing to, to add. We did have a little pretend play kitchen. We did uh-huh. have that. Mm-hmm. Um, well, so the groups based on the OT board, um, it was like group OT. So we're providing therapy just in a group setting. So the kiddos would work, you know, towards the same goals. We had groups that were fine motor, gross motor, oh, sensory wow. play, handwriting, um, using tools, you know, different things. And um, when the parents would come in, I would use that time to kind of educate on what the benefits are of having an OT to lead these or a therapist, any therapist, because like I said, we all pretty much work towards the same, the same goals. Um, and then um, what the benefit was, which group would best fit their needs based on, you know, what they were reporting and, and then have the kiddos work together towards their goals, socialize and just have fun in the groups. And the best part was that we didn't have to do any documentation. <laughs> I think that's where we got cut off, right? I think Medicare. Yes. <laughs> no, oh, they said no documentation. That's no just documentation. that Facebook stream, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, be- before we keep going, I just would like to give a shout out to the people who are watching in our live stream. Uh, Melissa, thank you very much for watching. She said she's watching again. And Mr. Cari Villasica, Coach Cari, what's going on, brother? And then Melissa Strout. Oh, I, she's there already. I love that, right? And Brian Cornejo, how are you there, brother? So uh, thank you very much for watching. Again, if you're watching live, please comment live. We want to know if you are watching live and if those these videos are actually helping you. And uh, if you're watching on the replay, please comment replay. Well, anyway, so you mentioned about no, no documentation, uh, again, because you're charging cash. Am I correct? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, what? Charging cash, yeah. Perfect, mm-hmm. perfect. And earlier, before we just cut, we were before we were cut off. Is that uh, uh, I asked M- uh, Giselle, uh, "Can anybody start this? Can anybody start this?" And her answer was, "Absolutely, anybody can start this." <laughs> you don't have to be a PT. You don't have to be an OT. You don't have to be a CODA or a PTA. Anybody can start this. What's the first thing that they need to do, uh, 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 <laughs> Giselle? Well, the first thing is decide to take that step because, you know, that's the scary part is actually saying, okay, I'm really going to jump in and do this. Um, But once you're in there, I mean, uh, things start to flow and you start to feel like it's the right thing and and you start to see the families come in and enjoy and the progress with the kiddos and it just, it it feels right. And so, um, like I said, for me, it's been the best experience and, and I'm excited to share with you guys. So excellent. Excellent. So I, I don't know if you, I guess you guys missed the first video because we got cut off, but uh, earlier I told her that uh, I'm still encouraging my daughter to be a therapist, to be a, she wants to be a PT like me, but I told her to just, you know, uh, do PTA first, learn the system, learn the, the process, learn the treatment ways, and then she can start her own kids gym. And we, we were looking at different spaces down in Jackson area and that way we could uh, you know uh, be the best that we can be and uh, there's always a way and like what Giselle mentioned take action guys you know and, and she mentioned the word momentum it's like walking it's like walking you have to have you have to take that first step you have to take that first step and then if you keep leaning forward what happens when you keep leaning forward keep obviously going. I'm hitting my microphone but <laughs> when you keep leaning forward 
you're automatically moving that. It becomes a rhythm. It becomes like a, a, a normal reaction for you now. And you feel that movement and then bam, bam, next step. One way or another, you feel like you're ready, you can run. And that's what we want you to be. That's what you, that's what you want to be when you're starting your own business. You get that momentum. But the first thing, like what she said, is to take action. Take action. Just like what Melissa said. Take action. Right, Mike? There you go. There you go. <laughs> and uh, before I ask that next question with, to, to Giselle, I just want to give a shout out to Mr. Dave Townsend. He's a good friend of mine. He's uh, part of our SSHC. So thank you for watching, Mr. Dave. And then the next question, Giselle. <laughs> um, is it really profitable? I guess, you know, that's my question, question because we can, you know, when we have a business and if that business is not making you money, it's not a business, it's a hobby, ladies and gentlemen. So when you're starting your own business, when you have what you call your entrepreneurial mindset, you have to make money out of it. And, you know, let's face it, you know, I, I, I see patients at home, I do Medicare Part B, I, I leverage my dementia expert class or my CDP, my certified dementia practitioner. And obviously I have to make money because I cannot just feed my kids or my wife or my family with just words of encouragement. I still have to bring home the bacon, right? right. So is your business really profitable? And the next question is how much can I make out of it? Yeah. Well, like any business, it takes a little bit of time to build up, but absolutely it is profitable. Within my first year, I was able to make 9000 per month. So oh, wow. it's all setting a plan and getting your, your things in order and setting yourself goals and um, getting yourself organized. But it, it takes work, but you're able to do it for sure. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I don't know if you guys are listening when I ask her. She said it takes a plan. Mm -hmm. Takes a plan. Takes what well, English, right? It takes a plan. Is that the right phrase there? It takes a plan. You need to have a plan. Something like that. You need takes planning. Uh -huh. Takes planning. <laughs> takes planning. I'm running out of English, ladies and gentlemen. It's seven o'clock Central Standard Time. Obviously, I'm running English. You know, uh, when I get sick, I don't want to talk English, right? But before <laughs> we keep going, before I highlight what she said, I just want to give a shout out to Dr. RV Vitente. Thank you very much, Dr. RV. We appreciate you for all you do for our profession. He's actually a professor at the University of St. Augustine, creating, changing people lives, right? Changing, changing people's lives, whatever. You know, he's changing people's lives, being a good professor. Well, anyway, I just would like to harp on what Giselle mentioned about having a plan. Having a plan. When you're starting a business, ladies and gentlemen, you have to have the four S's. The four S's. What's our, what are the four S's? Snake, slit, no, no. The four <laughs> S's are, the first S is skills. Mm. We as therapists, whether you're a PT, OT, speech, CODA, PTA, we already have the skills. Mm -hmm. My skill is dancing. Oh, <laughs> just hurt my shoulder. My skill, <laughs> oh gosh, that hurt my shoulder. I have rota rotator cup, rotator cup syndrome. Well, let me, let me. Oh, there you are. Okay, so the first S I'm looking at, so I got, I got booted out there. In my own, in our own group, Giselle. <laughs> in our own group. Okay. Uh, first S is skills. You have to have that skill. So us as therapists, like what I said, whether a PT, OT, speech, PTA, CODA, we already have the skills in order for us to start that business. What's the next S? You need to have strategies. You need to have strategy, a strategy, like what she said. You have to have a plan. You know, uh, failure to plan when you're, what do you call this? <laughs> failure to plan. When you fail to plan, you plan to fail. That's what I meant. You have to have strategies when opening up your business. So skills, strategies, right? Strategies. So the next letter, the third S is let me just give a shout out to Christine Mikita. Thank you very much for saying yes, you are live. So the next S, the third S, the third S. You know what? Any wild guess, Giselle? Any wild guess? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> so the first is skills. Next is strategy. Skill strategy. Uh -huh. the, the third S is system. You have to have system in place. You have to have system in place. Why? Obviously, because if you don't have system in place, it's going to be hard. You know, you have to have that, you know, when, when you, what time do you open up? You know, what are you going to do? You know, when there's somebody, you know, throwing up, how are you do that? Your policies and procedures and stuff like that. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the last S, the last S 
What do you think, Giselle? Any wild guess? Come on, give me a good S. Give me a good S. <laughs> um, let's see. No, no, not C, not C. Letter S. <laughs> social for the marketing aspect, the social. Social. Yeah. Close. No? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Actually, that's true. I you need to be social. You need to go out there. You need to go out there in your community. How can they see you if you are not social enough to be to be presenting yourself in your community? So aside from the S that uh, Giselle added, I guess it's going to be five S now, right? <laughs> so the fifth S is your, <laughs> it's actually, I forgot, honestly, is support. <laughs> <It's not> social. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant. Support, you know, so skills, strategy, your uh, system. She mentioned social. And last but not least, your support. You need to have a support team a support team that will push you to your next level. And this is where Giselle comes in. She has created this course, How to Start Your Own Kids Gym. Uh, she has a group, a Facebook group, how to start it and how to do it. And let me just uh, show it to you here. Hey, OS, uh, what's going on? Let me show everyone uh, the website, Giselle. There you go. So here is Giselle's website. Uh, Build your kids' gym and playground business with how to start your kids' gym. Oh, gosh. This is really good, right? Learn the steps to starting your own sensory gym with the least upfront investment and the most profit and fun. Yep. We want fun, right? We want fun. You put the fun in functional, right? That's uh, right. Leverage, <laughs> leverage your therapy skills to create a gym that is uniquely positioned to build a child's mental and physical strength while earning a potential $9,000 a month. Oh gosh, I want that. Who doesn't want $9,000 a month, right? So who can start a kid's gym? Go ahead and read this. <laughs> Just, oh. Pretty much everyone. Uh -huh. Do it. Yeah. Gosh, gee, it says here yoga instructors, personal trainers, PT, OT, Skoda, PTA, SLP. So gosh, you know, anybody can do this. And uh, let me just show some of the pictures. These pictures here are not stock photos. This is actually Giselle's clinic or Giselle's gym photos. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, that's not Giselle, but, you know, I wish that was Giselle uh, climbing up. <laughs> so it's not a kid's gym anymore. It's going to be OT gym or a uh, women's gym, right? So it says here, uh, make a change in your community. Why? Because you're not only changing your life. You're changing somebody's life when you're, when you're opening up your, your kid's gym. Before I keep going, uh, OS said, how was your day? Very busy day, says uh, OS. I want to say sister, but uh, very, very uh, busy day. How she's asked or he or she is asking, how long did you live in the Philippines? I lived there pretty long. I just moved here uh, like uh, less than 10 years ago. So I'm pretty new. I'm pretty new here in the States, OS. So thank you very much for asking. Yep, go Filipino flag. So here, build a gym for all children all abilities, you know, promote strength, provide fun and laughter. This is what we want. My daughter, she really likes to, uh, you know, to tell the truth. She likes to, let me stop the share for a minute. She likes to open up her, or she wants to be in the pediatric realm when it comes to therapy. She doesn't want the geriatric because she sees me, oh, daddy's like, you know, doing those geriatric old people. <laughs> I don't want old people, right? But uh, hopefully someday she would like, you know, uh, taking care of geriatric patient. But in her head, she wants to do pediatric. And mm -hmm. a lot of us here, a lot, will, a lot of people will tell you, don't go into the therapy field. But a lot of people will tell that. Why? Because they're still in that mindset of being an employee and working for somebody else. Obviously, when you're working for somebody else, it's going to be hard right now. But if you start and create your own niche, you start and create your own business, you create your own market. Guess what? You're the one who's providing employment. You're the one who's actually changing people's life. And that's the reason why uh, I love Giselle's program. It's and I think as therapists, we're so lucky to be in one of the most diverse careers out there, really. And I mean, it's just putting your mindset to finding how we can use our skill set in a different way. But there's so many things that we can do as therapists. So I think you're definitely right on that. On that one. Definitely. Not me, but you. <laughs> because you're doing a good job. So uh, 
let's show this. Uh, I guess that's your video, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's you there. See? Gosh, where are you this? Where, where are you at? Looks like... Uh, I in, uh, that was the Great Wall of China. I was in China there. You started a gym in China? No, just kidding. <laughs> no, no. But like I said, we thanks to this gym, we're able to travel full time as a family now. So. Oh, gosh. Uh, I hate you. Stop it. Right. <laughs> well, right now, obviously, we can't. So <laughs> good thing. <laughs> Thank you, Corona, for us not being able to travel right now. But I know, I'm that. so sad right now. <laughs> I know, right? But imagine that, ladies and gentlemen, because of the gym, she was able to travel before Corona, right? She was able to go to China, you know, and, and uh, travel because of the gym, because she has this work-life balance. We call it work-life balance, right? So, uh, right. Uh, well, anyway, I'm going to keep going. What, we, what she has in this... Uh, program here. Uh, here in her program, she will teach us how to start your kid's gym in a step-by-step -step easy format. Mm -hmm. uh, she will provide the alternative to this business. She will teach you how she made $9,000 a month. Teach me, teach me sensei uh, or uh, what do you call that? Master, whatever, karate, black beller, boss. And she will teach you how to social media, your market, use social media, how to social media, how to use your social media to market your gym. This is very important. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to, you need to learn how to market yourself using social media. And uh, that's very, very important because you can have the best set up, best gym, but if you don't know how to market yourself, it's going to be hard. So that's going to be uh, one of her uh, talking point there. Mm -hmm. uh, basically a lot more. A lot more here. So, uh, Giselle, could you tell us uh, how much the course is? Uh, well, the course is uh, seven ninety seven, and mm -hmm. it does include um, videos. It's nine videos total. It's including a step by step guide through each step explained on what to do, starting from how to get your LLC established, how to get all of your business um, established, and in a row and everything you need to open your doors, um, how to get insurance for your business, all that good stuff, to purchasing equipment. I mean, I provide uh, all the equipment used with direct links so you could just click and purchase if that's the, the equipment you wanna purchase. Um, a I guide on how to use social media to market. You get all the forms you need, liability forms, sign up forms, automatic payment forms, all the forms you need to function in your business a list of recommended vendors, a list of all the developmental play groups and resources that I use, um, a sample of my, of my space, how I had it set up to make sure that, you know, you can use it as an example to set up a good flow in your uh, kids gym. And uh, you get access to our private Facebook group where we do just support for each other and just able to discuss and help through each step of the way. So um, Perfect. Perfect. Hey, just just the 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 liability forms, sign up forms, the automatic payment payment, and actually the equipment. Those are actually very valuable there. And of course, the continued support that you get from Giselle. I think this is so worth it versus buying your own franchise. You know. Yeah. So I before so. I even started, I looked into franchises, and it was they would tell me a hundred grand, a hundred and fifty oh, yeah. grand. I was like what where am I gonna get all that money from you know and so I kind of went the do-it-yourself route and was able to save so much money and able to start this off and be successful even through that route but I could have saved a lot more too if I had a you know a guide of how to know what to do each way because it took me a long time to get things done to research and know what to do and um, you know, I lost some money doing some steps that I didn't really need to do, but I thought I did. And so it's, it's always good to have a guide and starting something that's as big as this is so starting your business, you know? You know what? That's, that is so true. We, that is so true. We need a guide. We need a guide. We don't need a franchise. I mean, obviously if you want to buy a franchise, go ahead. You know, it's like what Giselle said, it's a hundred thousand. The minimum is probably 50,000 and that's just the actual franchise licensing fee in mm -hmm. there it's it's not included the equipment is not even included and what's what's bad or bad or not bad you know what's funny is that you still have to pay some royalties every year or right. whatever you paid or whatever you've earned 
Well, you're just basically working for somebody else. Right. They're making money out of you just because you're using their brand name. It's like mm-hmm. McDonald's. Obviously, McDonald's is it's a different story. But if you're if you're gonna do it on your own, if you're gonna start a kids' gym, you might as well do it on your own. Just get a guidance. You know, seven ninety seven. I don't think that's not too much. I paid thousands. Of, you no, know, just to tell the truth, I paid. Sometime I had somebody. I paid ten thousand dollars just for me to teach something that actually is it even an actionable plan. Yes, I made a mistake there, but you know, I learned from it, but it wasn't an actual concrete business. You know, it's not a brick and mortar. Uh, I paid somebody, uh, uh, I think 3,500 last year, how to start, how to, to teach me how to start my own speaking business. And I was watching and listening and everything. And I technically knew what she was, ta- what he was talking about. So with this investment, 797, I think this is a very good investment, ladies and gentlemen, uh, go grab it. Uh, and, just reach out to Giselle and uh, what website can we go to again, Giselle? Let me stop my share. Uh, so it's here the alter- through alternativehealthcarecareers.com. Um, you can see there and click for the kids gym and that'll take you to my website there. Perfect. Perfect. Is there any discount code or that's, that's it? <laughs> um, I believe what we're doing now is offering a little bonus to where you get the logo and website. Um, uh, included as well. So check that oh. out at the bottom of the page there. So perfect. So if you buy that 797, you get a free website and logo and everything. Am I correct? Yep. Is that what? Okay. All right. So for those people who are watching, uh, you go grab that deal. Why? Because 797, you get your own website, you get the actual course itself, you know, not a franchise, <laughs> but still it's like you're buying that concept of franchise. Yeah, Might as it's well like do you're it. getting the kids gym in a box. Everything you need to get started and to kickstart your journey, you pretty much get it included there, you know? So everything Perfect. you need to start. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Well, again, thank you very much, Giselle. Uh, any last parting wisdom or encouragement for our group here? Yes, definitely. Um, so I know right now we're going through this really uncertain time of, you know, what's going to happen and and it, it becomes a little scarier even to take a step of doing of opening a kids gym. But I do encourage you guys to take this time even to research, you know, if this is your dream of getting a kids gym open eventually, to do your research and look into things because it, it, I mean, everything is gonna get eventually back to normal and this is your time to kickstart this journey, to be one step ahead when it uh, does all kind of normalize, you know, start looking into leases, even there uh, right now, there's even more opportunity to negotiate, you know, and start building up your clientele so that later on when you are, do feel ready, you can transition that on into your business. Like there are things that you can do within the safety measures that can be done and you will be one step ahead when things normalize. So don't feel like right now you're in a standstill and you can't go towards your dreams because you can. Perfect. Oh gosh, I want to talk to you more then, right? <laughs> so I mentioned Giselle, I mentioned to Giselle earlier, you know, uh, in the middle of crisis mm-hmm. lies an opportunity. And this is actually a great opportunity because she asked me earlier, hey, Michael, is this the right time for us to offer this awesome product. And I sell, you do you know when is the right time to sell? The right time to sell and take action is now. Mm-hmm. That's the, the best time to take action. The best time for me to go to the gym is not tomorrow. <laughs> it wasn't yesterday, actually now. Same thing with you. If you're watching right now, I don't know, I, I'm not looking at my, my cell phone. If you're watching right now, if you really wanna start your kid's gym, you got to take action now. Why? Because this is the perfect timing. You still ask me, hey, Michael, is this the right timing? Yes, actually, yes. Why? Because all this realtor that is wanting for you to, for them to, their, 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 their spaces to be leased out, they're going to offer you some, some lease program. Mm. The, the one facility, one facility, one lease that I'm looking at at Jackson, they're willing to give me at least a whole year free rent just to close in the contract for three years. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. You know, I mean, imagine that. And that's what uh, Giselle is going to talk about 
in her in her in her what you call it in her course mm-hmm. uh, how to leverage your your relationship your 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 skills and how to bring back to your community right thank you very much Giselle any anything else nope I think that's it thank you so much Mike for having me all right again thank you very much Giselle I appreciate you but before I let you go ladies and gentlemen Always remember the word fast, F-A-S-T. Why? Because you want to take action fast. Like what I mentioned earlier, take action fast. Letter F. Is that letter F? Letter F. (laughs) Letter F. Find friends that will push you to your next level because you are the average of the five people you hang out with. So who are you hanging out with? Are you hanging out with awesome people? Guess what? You're going to be awesome. Right now, I'm hanging out with Michelle. I want to know what she's doing because I want this for my daughter, who is going to be a PTA, my eldest daughter, and then my second daughter, she wants to be a CODA. And I encourage them to be a, still a, a PTA and CODA. So if they decide to be a, a OTR or a PT someday, they already have their own business like this, right? Mm-hmm. So find friends that will push you to your next level, all right? Next letter is letter A. You'll learn how to take action. Take action, you know? Just like the director says, you know, I, I have that TV show in the Philippines. I don't know if you guys are following. I'm sh- I've been sharing it. The director would always say, lights, camera, action. You may have your lights ready. I'm going to show you my lights. Oh, gosh, my shoulder hurts. I have lights there, right? Your lights may be ready. Your camera may be ready. But if you don't take action, guys, that movie will not show. That movie will not roll. You got to take action. You got to take action. All right. So next letter is letter S. Letter S. Shoot for the moon. Why? Because if you keep shooting for the moon, you're going to miss it. You're going to be landing with the stars. Right now, I miss shooting for the moon. I'm landing with a star named Giselle Miranda. She's a star right now, right? And last but not the least, letter T. Letter T. Time out. Not time out. Oh, gosh. Uh, What's letter T? Teach it. You got to learn how to teach it. Why? Because when you hear it, you forget. When you see it, you remember. But when you're actually teaching it, you're actually understanding it more. And that's what Giselle is going to do with us. She's going to teach us how to start your own kids' gym. So uh, go grab that, uh, that, that offer there. It's awesome. It's very affordable. You know, go take action fast, F-A-S-T. Again, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you. Giselle, thank you very much. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to share that music. And then we are signing off. Be awesome. Be great. Be excellent. ACG. And we will see you around.